Hey everyone, a quick video on uh, Bose remotes. You want to know if your uh, remote is working? Put it against your, your camera here, your lens, and you'll see uh, the light work. So, this remote is working. If you come across a, uh, you can do this with any other, any remote by the way, you just point it at your uh, camcorder and uh, you'll check to see if your remote is transmitting. If you have a remote, a Bose remote that's not working, and here's what you do. You take a uh, nice sharp knife and you peel this off. Now obviously you're going to have to glue this back down later. And uh, sometimes these little test points could be bad, could be cleaned up. As you can see there's a bit of glue on here. So I, I will have to re-glue this down, but you can't touch the glue onto the touch pads. So you make sure your touch pads are also clean. Step three, you'll notice that there are some screws here. Small, very small Phillips screwdriver. So that would give you, if you take out those screws, that'll remove the, uh, the actual circuit board from the plastic so you can look on the other side to see if your coin is making, yeah, where your coin battery goes in. If it's making good connection, you could do some testing there. So that's how you you get access to your Bose remote. Now, I don't recommend you do this because once you do this, if your remote is working or you know you check it and it's not working because of the light, and it's not working, well, you know you're you're on your own. I'm not asking you to destroy your remote. They can be found online, but if you want to take a stab at repairing it, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. I figured I'd do a little bonus video here. This is the uh, actual circuit board when it's removed from inside the Bose remote. So there you go, that's where the, the battery makes contact. So we're going to check this out. And uh, there you are. In like Flynn on a Bose remote. Thanks for watching.